Welcome to the world of mathematics. So we are already done with the discussion about the addition of integers. But before we proceed to our subtraction of integers, again, I want you to answer this. Very good. And how about this? Very good. Ang galing nyo na. Oo, pwede na tayong lumaban. Hmm. Pwede yan. Okay, so. For us to proceed with our subtraction of integers, we are going to need what we have learned with our addition of integers. So, please remember this addition of integers. So, for the subtraction of integers, Copy the first term, change minus to plus, write opposite of the second term, and proceed with the addition of integers. So, ayun na nga po ang mga paalala natin. Hindi porket nakakita kayo ng minus sign or ng plus sign, yun na kagad yung operation na gagawin ninyo. Bagong-bago na po pagdating po dito sa usapan sa integers. Pag may nakitang plus sign, alalahanin kung anong rule. At pag may nakitang minus sign, alalahanin kung ano ang gagawin. Hindi porket nakitang plus, add agad. Hindi porket nakitang minus, minus agad. May tamang proseso po tayo dyan. Okay? So, testing nga po natin itong given natin para sa ating subtraction. Let's say you are given negative 8 minus 4. So, negative 8 minus 4. You need to bring down negative 8. So, copy. Minus will be plus. And then, 4, we need to get its opposite. And that will be negative 4. So, going back to our addition of integers. So, since we're, we're going to have negative 8 plus negative 4. If we're going to add same signs, what are we going to do? Add the numbers and then copy the common signs. So therefore, 8 plus 4 will be 12. And since negative is the common sign, so our final answer should be negative 12. Let's try another one. If I have here 9 minus 15, what are we going to do again? Copy the first term, and that is 9. Minus will be plus, and positive 15 will be negative 15. So we need to get the opposite of the second term. So, Therefore, we'll have 9 plus negative 15. And what are we going to do again if we have unlike signs? Very good. So for the unlike signs, we need to subtract the integers and then copy the sign of the greater number. Oo, sinort cut na lang natin. Pero that is uh, the sign of the number with the greater absolute value. Okay. So, 15 minus 9 will give us an answer of 6. But, 15 is a greater number. So, therefore, our answer will be negative 6. Another one. What if I have 7 minus negative 3? Sige nga po. So again, we need to copy the first term. Minus will be plus. Opposite the second term. And the opposite of negative 3 will be? Positive 3. Very good. Okay. So, therefore, we'll have the addition of like signs. 7 plus 3 is 10. 
and the common sign is positive. So therefore, our final answer will be positive 10 or as simple as 10. Very good. Ayan, di ba? Kaya-kaya naman natin eh. More pa? Sige nga po, try nyo yung sagutan yan. Oh, di ba basic? Kayang-kaya. How about this? Nice one! Very good! Ah, last one. Ito kaya. Congratulations! Ang gagawin nyo na, as in. Oo. Very good na, very good na po talaga kayo dyan. Nice one! Okay, so, do your best. Bye!